What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to face swap in Photoshop. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now the face swap is going to consist of KSI and Toby Jizzle. So as you'll see right now, this is the picture we have of KSI, and this is the picture we have of Toby Jizzle. What we're going to be doing is putting KSI's face on Toby Jizzle. So first things first, I'm just going to drag both images onto Photoshop, and here we go, this is exactly how we want it. One for Toby Jizzle, and one for KSI. So of course we're taking KSI's face off and putting it on Toby Jizzle, so that means we're not touching Toby Jizzle right now. So KSI, here we go. What you want to do is see where this padlock is, you want to left click it, so the padlock is off. From there you want to zoom into the face, so go to the magnifying tool, left click and just zoom into the face. Just like that. The next thing you want to do is use the lasso tool. Now to bring this up you can press L on your keyboard and it brings it up like that. Or you can come up here, left click and drag and you'll see lasso tool right there. Now when doing this, we're not going to cut out the entire face, meaning we're not going to touch the chin area and we're just going to go above the eyebrows. So you'll see right now, you want to left click and if you are using a pen, of course this will be much more easier for you. However, I'm just using a mouse so it's a bit harder. That's okay, we're still going to get a good shape from this. Watch the eyebrow. And then you connect back up like that. You'll then get this selection. Now you can either press Command C or Control C to copy, or you can come to Edit and Copy. From there, we're done with KSI. We now go to Toby Jizzle. So go to your Move Tool and press Control V. This has pasted KSI's face, and again, go to your Move Tool and we're going to zoom in. From here, just position his face in the center like that, and this is where we are going to start messing with it in order to get KSI's face on Toby Jizzle's face. So I'm going to zoom in a bit more for this. There we go. A bit more actually. There we go, this is exactly what I want. So, go to the Move tool, press Ctrl T on your keyboard, or you can come to Edit and Free Transformation. From here, just make KSI's face just bigger. So hold a Shift and Alt, and it'll make it big like that. Now at the moment it does look blurry, but don't worry, it'll look better once we have done it. So just double click here with left click or you can press enter on your keyboard. The next thing you want to do is make sure you're on care size layer or the top layer and then you want to put the opacity down to 50%. Close to 50%. Now what we're going to do is line up care size eyes with Toby Chisel's eyes. So just find it right there. The left eye is in place but the right eye isn't so we're going to press Control T on our keyboard. And we're just going to position it out like this. There we go. And at the same time, we also want to be aware of his mouth. So, we got our position of mouth. You can see KSI nostrils right there. Uh, we can leave that for now, because his mouth is right here. So we're going to leave it there. We're going to press enter on the keyboard. We can now zoom out of this. And we can put this back to 100% opacity. And we have KSI like that. No, it is not done. Now we have to blend it all in. Now there is an easy way to do this. But it doesn't always work. First of all, you need to come to Toby Jizzle's layer and unlock this padlock. Then hold Control or Shift and then press both layers. From here, come to Image. From here, come to Edit. Then you want to come to Auto Blend Layers. You want to make sure it's on Parrot and Armor. And then you want to make sure Seamless Tones and Colors are checked. And you can have this checked if you want to. Press OK, it'll do its thing. And sometimes it'll work, sometimes it doesn't. So you can see right there, it just put Toby the exact same way. So we're not going to do it this way. If it doesn't work, this is the other method I'm going to be showing you. So zoom in again, just like this. There's good. We can zoom out a bit. And now you want to come to your eraser tool. From there, you want to press this down arrow. You want to make sure you're on the softest brush, zero hardness, and then make this about 60 to 70 or 50. From there, start on the edges and just go around the edges like so. Just like this, and you can see right there we have an error. Toby's lip is starting to show, so we're going to come back to our move tool. We're going to press Control T, and we're going to bring down KSI's mouth by holding holding Shift and dragging it down. Press Enter once you're happy, and then continue doing the exact same thing we were just doing. Just like this. Watch out for the eyes. One thing we can do in this situation: take off the eyebrows, because Toby's eyebrows basically goes with KSI's. 
There we go. Just keep going like this. Slowly we'll eventually get there. And there we go. Let's zoom out a bit. This is what we got so far. Castle's face, of course, is darker compared to uh, Toby Jizzle in this. So, right now, we gotta fix this part before we go any further. So, come to Image, come to Adjustments, from there, come to Brightness and Contrast. From here, just mess with the contrast and the brightness, of course, so the contrast should go higher. And you can see it's actually starting to clear up to match Toby Jizzle's skin tone. Also, you can mess with the contrast if necessary. Point down the contrast has actually helped dramatically, so there you go right there. That's helped. Press OK. I believe we're actually done. If we just zoom in, it looks legit. <laughs> it is done. Now you'll see there's a light part there and a dark part there, so if you come back to the eraser tool and do the exact same thing, we can darken out the skin tone to make it match. There we go. We've just put KSI's face onto Toby Jizzle's face. Now, in some cases, again, you might not have the best looks from doing the stuff I just showed you, so there is more to make it blend. Make sure you're on the face layer, come to Image, Adjustment, and then you can mess with the levels and the curves and even the hue saturation. So I'll just show you right now the levels, this is what it looks like. To mess with this, just use the slider in the middle, and you can see it messes with the brightness. And we could actually use this right now, you can see, looks, looks better, so we'll keep it there. Press OK. And then another thing you do, come through image, adjustments, curves. This is what curves is, basically the same except for you get control of all this. So you can see channel RGB or you can mess with the red and the green and the blue individually. And then if you come to image, adjustments and then hue and saturation, this is what you can mess with here. So you just gotta mess with this, of course you can see you can make them into different colours, but if you go towards the left, you just gotta find the right colour. There we go, we can press OK on that. And in some cases you can even mess with the picture we didn't touch in the first place. So go to Toby Jill's picture, come to Image, Adjustments, and then we'll go to Brightness and Contrast. And you can see if we bring up the brightness on this, just a little bit, not too much. You can see it does make it a bit more realistic as well. So I'm going to keep this one on 9, press OK, and now I'm officially done. You can see we've managed to keep Toby Jizzle's beard and his eyebrows in it as well. So that is how it's done. Now I've also actually tweeted this picture to KSI and Toby Jizzle themselves. So I'd appreciate it if you take a couple of seconds just to go to the description, like and retweet the tweet. Anyway, that is it for this video. Like I said at the start, if you would like to request this tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when you're posting and what you're posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my game channel, I'll post four times a week. And finally check out my Snapchat, I'll just see what I do throughout my day. See you next Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe. Wait, now, peace.